YouTubers Brian Proctor back again with another video and this is another action post position of the week number 25 so I decided to do this back position because I hadn't done any back positions for the action pose series so I did this one so that you can do it and then make your character look tight tight to death so yeah this is a nice back position and uh I added some nice line weight to it just a second ago because it was looking a little thin. So in the very end of it, you don't see the actual line weight that I did, but I put a little line weight on it. So let's get into this video so you can go ahead and learn to draw this position and have your character looking tight. All right, let's go. All right, let's get started with this one. So as I stated, this time I decided to do a back video. I haven't really done any back ones in a while. I don't think I've done any when I drew the back, so let's do this. And drawing the back, you would have to do kind of in perspective, like if the line would go all the way off and then switch back, because that's just how it would be. So maybe not this much of a um, angle, but we'll see. We'll see. But I know you, it's best to do that for this type of position. All right, so the first thing I do, I left room for the head. This is the space for the head. So the first thing I do is I want to line up where my character is gonna be at by the spine. So hopefully you can see that. I don't wanna make it too dark. Then you go for your oval, which is going to be your torso, of course. Knowing that your, your one shoulder is going to be here, one shoulder is going to be there. So what I usually do is when I do the back, I always go, let me show you what I do. If I do somebody standing from the side, I don't do this. There's the butt, there's the legs, there's the, the, the foot. I'll do this. I'll bring the back back, bring the back back, then bring the the waist, the, the buttocks, then the legs, then the foot. And that makes him, and then bring the neck further up like that. That makes him look more powerful than this. It's like a little kid with a big butt. Get that butt down. So that just it just makes him look a little more powerful when you tilt that uh, torso back and then the arm can go back and down like that. Versus even with that, the arm back and down like that. He looks like he's doing the, the little chicken dance. So, yeah. This is why coming down straight, since this is the back, the, the um, spine is not going to be centered. Or his head will be centered and you just see the back. But this is going to be a turn position. Slightly turned. So, I'll do this. I'll put the spine here. Kind of almost curving it around like that. Because I'm going to curve it down and then down like that and that gives him that that gives him that that arch kind of look so we're curving down and out like that and another thing i do is this is going to be where the neck is going to come up here so i take that off of off of that oval and then i'm going to do a point like that because the shoulders the neck comes up to this little shape like this like a funnel like that and then do the shoulders here now I might make this a little wider do shoulders but for now I'm gonna just rough sketch it because I'm looking at it and it might go off the paper and I should have just done the whole rough sketch first I wanted to kind of make it big but I didn't want it I don't want it to jump off the paper and even the same thing here you have your 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 ribs Actually, in the back, your ribs do come down, but I just do this just, just for me. So, let's do this. This is the part with the, the waist, and this is basically just, since he's in the back, it's going to be like that, kind of like a tuna can or a, a cylinder, half a cylinder. I just call it a tuna can, and I'm thinking his legs are going to be way off. Let's go see. Let's just let me do a rough sketch of it, and then we'll see what we have for the legs I 
Yeah. Possibly. 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 So let me shrink this down before I get started. And ain't no shame in erasing everything because there's a lot of, every pro does that. If they don't like what they do, then they just erase it and do it again. But you know the steps so far, so that's a good thing. And it's really hard for me to draw right first time if I'm drawing slow and trying to explain it. And I think that's why that one video that I did about doing the torso, oh so simple, was so fast that everybody was complaining about because, as I say, it's hard for me to draw and make it look good if I'm drawing slow and trying to explain it. So same thing, oval, take that curve down, here's your, your waist, here, continue around the buttocks. This is a little smaller than I wanted, but at least I know it'll fit on the paper. And I know I'm moving kind of fast, but I'll slow down. So let's just say about right there, that looks kind of good. And then this leg here. The knee and the this and the this. Then this leg here and it's going to Depending on the angle, you have the, the center, your buttocks is the center, and then your tail. I don't want to say the other word. So, and you have that cutting through like that. And for everything that goes, so this is your center line. That's about right there. So if you have this, this, and your center line, you're going to have other lines that go this way. And I don't really want to draw dark because it'll be kind of hard to erase that. And these legs are really long, especially this one. So anyway, wherever the line, your knee, whatever, where your knee falls, it has to be on that um, perspective line. Same thing when I do the elbows. The elbows have to be on that line. You'll see as I go along. So if this is here, this has to be here. This is the, going to be this is going to be the center of that leg. So like here. So that's the that's the where's the line at? This is the line. What is that? I don't know. We'll see. Everything will be based on this leg, provided this leg is in the proper position. So that heel would make this foot here, possibly. We'll put the heel here. It might be a little long. Bring this down a little more. So this is going to be right there that's going to be the center of that leg knee right there looking at my monitor doesn't look too shabby. So again, as I said, is this going to be the shoulder? Or am I going to bring it up? I'll bring that to a point like that because it's just easier to do the shoulders that way. The one is going to be here. Let's just say, let's round this off just for now because you will see some of the chest and then some of the, the front of the, the abs or the side of it because she's turned a good portion. You won't see much, 
So that means the delt is going to be here. You're going to have your back muscle right in here. So the delt is going to be here and in here. Now, the hard part is where do you put the arms at? You can put the arms way out here, way out here, straight down, straight down. But you want it to look cool, so you got to bring it out just a little bit. And then bend it just a little bit. So you have that one oval. You have this circle, this oval. And then you could do the oval again, but it lumps here, and it smooths out. and smooth out, but it widens and narrows out here. Speak te teacher language, Brian, and then your triangle for your um, diamond for your um, that part of your arm. Shout it out, somebody. Elbow, thank you. So from here, you have this. You know that this is a little diamond here. So a little round point that's going to be the center of your torso. Torso. Here we go. Your uh, delt. So this one. I could either put the arm out like this and bring it in, but then that might look like he's scratching his butt. So you gotta put it down, but this one is bent, so you have to bend that other one. So I would say about like this. Now let me get blue since I've got so many colors going on. So this is this. Let me see that better. Why is this thing focusing, going in and out of focus? And then you have this so what that elbow is no 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 that elbow's got to be further down like that continue I'm lost somewhere somewhere something screwed up but only in theory not in drawing and that other hand arm part of the arm is like that now this is just a, kind of like a basic position for um, people that have their characters and they just want to draw that character in a nice cool position so that would be the back of your um, your ribs rib cage comes up here the neck comes here center line so your head would be here and then you have like a turn position like he's looking he's looking at you so shoulders delts now since it's the back of the arm you're going to see the back of the delt the tricep delt Get it right, Brian. Early morning. A little bit of the bicep here, but mostly your tricep. So that means your point is going to be right here in between the two. Come up like that. Go over. One, two, three pieces. And let me work on this camera. I don't know why it's like that. I'm not sure if it's going to come out in the end or it's going to be clear, but I want to clear it up now. All right, that's better for me. Now, stopping just for a second and turning away from this picture, I see that his head is tilted back. Like he saw something, he's shocked, and he kind of just twisted back a little bit. So what I want to do is bring that back up. Bring that circle up more. And then that neck. To where he is not going backwards. Now what that does is that drops that chin a little bit more. He can still look a little bit, but you can you can only turn your head so much. So yeah, that is definitely going to kill his turning ratio we'll work with that in the wash I just wanted to get this good back position first so yeah by curving this 
more, it um, pulled them forward a little bit more, and that's what I wanted. So this back has got a nice little arch to it. I don't want too much arch, and then straight down here, and then buttocks, curves, and then up like that. There's a v, there's a V, and then it goes like this into that leg, and then you have your your um, your crotch. So like that, like that. Your leg comes out and in. You see some knee comes in, down more, and you have your calf. Calf is curved here. That. And you have this little inner line there. And then that. So for the other one, have a line here that goes in, curves in, out, get a little more calf. So, calf like that, out to the knee, and down. Now, this one I'm definitely going to have to walk away from and then come back and check it out. I see now by looking in the monitor, and that's the one thing, if you turn your paper upside down, you see a whole different perspective on your drawing that helps you to see, and also, if you look at your picture in a mirror that also helps you to see so that like this line this, this arm is like way too too long so I will have to lift this elbow up more which was throwing me off because that just looked a little high to be here so what I want to do is put it right here and then work on that arm to be at least there better let's do this so the lat is going, this is going to come up your back this is going to come down this is going to be I know you won't see really see any bicep so let's take this out you see the bicep here but the rest is going to be just tricep and that's the center of your arm so have your doorway if you looked at my um, arm drawing tutorial if not go back and see it and you'll be an expert or draw at drawing arms I don't know why I'm sniffling when I don't have a cold it's not sinuses Okay, so let's just let's do this back muscle thing. So <clears throat> you have like the, the, the makings of a Y. Sorry for that abrupt cut, but I just started sneezing. Had to blow my nose. Now I started on the back. Let me show you about the back. Now there are like three or four distinctive shapes to the back that you have to know, and then you can uh, start twisting those shapes to become an expert back drawer. Number one is you have that spine. It goes down the center line. Everybody knows that. You're going to have in front, you're going to have the collarbone, which leads to the delts, which kind of holds the delts. So this could be the front or the back, but it's the, it's the back. So you want to have this triangle. This triangle is going to come down like that. And I know we're, we're talking about the back, but this is the buttocks. So what happens here is the delts, let's do the shape of the delts. From the back, the shape of the delts are like this. And I'll ink this. Now, the, the top of the delts are going to come down like this, almost to a, a um, like you do the letter Y, like that. But at the end of the delts, because the delts ride on this, this Y line, at the end of the delts, you're going to get this another Y. I guess that's all I can say is a Y. Let me, and I'm looking for a, a brush, something that's going to write nicely. And this is not the one. 
Uh, where is my brush? All right, so back again. You're gonna have your delts like this. It's gonna ride down there, and then like that. So it's gonna come down, delt, and then come down there. Then your shoulders, like that. Of course, your, your spine is gonna go through there. And as I said, your neck is gonna come up like this. It's gonna be like two pieces, two separate, two sides gonna come up. So basically, it's like this, realistically. And then you have your arms are gonna come here. Your arms are gonna basically kind of cover your um, your back. Maybe not that much, but your arms are gonna be out here to cover your back. So from there, you're gonna have center line. You're gonna have your your tricep, biceps, triceps. Again, center line. But you have your um, shoulder blade here. So that's another little Y. And then here you have an upside down, almost a triangle, upside down triangle. But it's not that wide because your back kind of flares out like this. So these distinctive shapes like this and this. And it's almost like an evil face. And then these two. Those determine your back muscles, whether you have like a strong back or not, and then you have your lats that come down and it actually comes down and in, and then you have your love handles like that. And then you have your waist, and then that comes into that V for the buttocks, like so, and then your legs, like that. I mean, I could have gave him a little more waist, which realistically he would have had a little more waist, but yeah, you just these shapes. Now, when you twist these shapes to the side, turn them to the side, you have to be able to manipulate them. So, like, if I did this guy here and it's to the side, you still have to be able to manipulate those shapes to where it looks right. So, back to the show. Well, as I was using the blue. Now, when you do a back thing like this, you want to have, like, big arms. You want big delts that makes your character look, look powerful, big round shoulders, am I catching a cold? I hope not, it's vacation. And then down, and what was I saying? Big, big triceps. So center line, and then tricep, make it thick. So, so you have your bicep, tricep, and you have the center muscle that comes here, and it comes around like that, and then you have a bunch of little muscles like that. And I usually don't, I usually get on people about trying to do too many muscles, but this is more of a muscular pose from the back. You want to have your muscles. So you have your, uh, what was it called again? <laughs> your shoulder blade here and here. So your lats come from under your arm and then down into your back. You have the centerpiece, where's the spine, like this, because this comes a little, maybe a little further down. And then you have that other piece of the back. And because it's arched, you don't want to draw a triangle, you want to kind of bring it in like that. Because as I say, your lats come down and then you have your your um, love handles but for this sake we don't want to make big thick love handles we want to kind of ignore the love handles so the hands are going to be the difficult part do I want to make a fist I don't know okay so let's just do this let's ignore let's take this little piece off here that I did and then there is a triangle just sometimes it's a little diamond and that adds an extra lump to the shoulder, which looks good to me. And I'm gonna split that. So this comes up and then over and then lats. So that looks kind of good. So let's before we tackle the hands, let's do the legs, back of the legs. So there is a separation in the center. So here's my center line again. There is just a uh, there is a separation, but it's covered with skin, so I don't want to I don't want to get too much into that. But here, where the knee bends, do I have that right? 
as I said, I'm going to walk away from this before I do too much detail and see what I have. This leg could be a little shorter and maybe turn it in more. It's probably the foot that's throwing me off. You know, it could be a little shorter because this calf is high, this calf is too low. So let me reduce that, this knee, bring that knee up a little bit. And as I said, it's good to just stop and walk away from your picture because if I did all this and I inked it and I came back like later, and I was just happy and went to get a burger or something, I came back later and I said, oh my God, that's messed up. And I put it online. So yeah, it's just don't try to, I rarely try to finish pictures right off the bat. Sometimes it'll take me three days to do a picture. One that I actually care about, shall we say. And I must have a, be catching a cold or something. Where is my eraser that likes to run across the board when I don't want it, but hides when I need it? And I'm looking up at this arm. Take some of that out. Where was I? Using my guidelines. And of course, they could be off because, you know, if you were professional, you would draw off the paper. A lot of people will take a ruler, they'll draw. Here's your point here. Let me do this. See, the eraser likes to run around. If I took it and say, like, well, here's my point here, you take a ruler, you put that ruler on that point, and then you just draw the lines that you need to make it um, fit better. Especially if you're doing like buildings and so forth and so on. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I hate to use rulers. And I remember I was teaching in a private school and uh, we were doing perspective. I was teaching them to do perspective. And I said, man, you know, I hate rulers. I, I really hate to use rulers. And the teacher pulled me to the side later and was like, don't say that because then the students will not want to use rulers, which is true. So, but, you know, that's just me. I'm saying it now, worldwide, I hate to use rulers. To, to me, a ruler makes it, what's the word? You have to conform to it. You know, art should be free and wild, not, you know, staticky. That's why I guess I didn't do, um, what is it, when you design houses and stuff. Something my daughter wants to do, architecture. I couldn't get into that because it's, it's too, and I had the word in my, my head. A second ago, it's too. I can't think of it. Where you can't be free to do, locks you up, confining. So, what I want to do here is I'm going to drop this foot back, like, let's do this foot. And I'm going to pull this foot, actually, pull it back. It's not going to be uniform. Because when you're standing in that cool position, you're not going to be uniform. And your heel is small. Your heel is more like a triangle to me, right around there. And you have your, um, what do you call that, your ankle. The inner ankle is higher than the lower ankle. That's why I usually do this little shape here. And then from this angle, your foot is going to be more like this. So you just see just a little piece of it right there. Now this one... I'm going to pull that foot back. And let's see what I have here. Switch to red. And I switch colors when I get too messy with one color and I, I got, have too many lines. So I switch to the next color just to be able to keep track of what I'm doing. So the heel would be here, and this is just rough sketching right, real quick, until I get, no, because that's too far, because now he looks like he's stepping. All right. This is going to be one of the trouble points that I think I'm going to do it on a, on a, on a speeded, 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 
in a fast motion because I don't want to spend like 20 minutes trying to get a foot right and yeah and yeah and it doesn't come out right so that's 20 minutes of your time that I just took away and can't get it back and to do a foot like I just did this block like that for a foot so I can just easily turn that block into more of a triangle like that, a triangle wedge like this. So if I'm doing the back foot, here's a calf, here's the, the foot, this is the center line, here is your whatever that your heel, and here's your foot, and it's coming up, it's not going down, it's coming up at an angle. You can always do the triangle line over and do that like you did that, like you do a um a wedge or a slice of cake like that and then just circle and then put your leg up here and then just kind of round that off like that and then you have a foot so if I rounded it off calf your heel and your ankles here you rounded it off down heel instep and it just it's easy to do shapes than to do try to draw uh, get your shape first because if I did this I said well I got a toe here and a toe here and a, you'll mess it all up I'll be all day trying to do that get your shapes first then if you want to put extra muscles in then you can add extra muscles into your shapes so right now this is just basically getting this thing to fit on the ground and I think this is this is wrong if this is the center I'm gonna work on this in a fast motion but I want to do the hands I want to leave you guys hanging with the hands I have no idea if I do a fist which would probably be easier because he's a bad boy So, put the, find your angle of your fist first, your angle of how you want to hold your hands. Fair enough. Now, because you're seeing the bottom of that, you're going to see the palms. It's just two circles. Your thumb comes out here and then back. So, it's like an L, like uh, 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 like that. So, it comes out the side of your hand, this joint this one, this one, and this one. Let's see if you can see that. So you got this, this, and this. Like that, and it tucks around here. And then you just put your fingers at an angle. One, two, three, and the fourth one is covered by the thumb. Now you can angle it a little bit more. It doesn't have to be this. You can turn it just a little bit more. But I'm just showing you a quick one. I probably will angle this in the, in the um, speed part. But for now, I'm just showing you easy way to do it. So this one, because you're seeing the back, back of his hand, you're going to just see this one part of the palm. And then this finger bends in like that. So again, you have this, 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 and in. Then you have the part of the palm. You have a bend in his finger here, and you have a bend in that finger there. Now... That also depending on, and that's the baby finger, also depending on the angle, you might see some more of the palm. You see this one, and then that part of the palm, but then you might see, you would see more finger. So, and it all depends. As I said, drawing is a lot of depends. You might see more knuckles. Depends, but I think not because... This hand is going to be twist, twist, twisted up, or like this way, so you won't see any more fingers on this side. So you'll just see that baby finger, and as I said, maybe some uh, pad here, maybe some other, and then maybe some thumb. I'll have to look at this off camera, but for now, I'm going to draw a speed drawing. I'm going to, uh, I try to get you guys to do the basics first, the basic, the shape, and then go for the speed stuff, which is not that important to me 
not important to me. Not that important because if you get the basic, then the rest of it is good to go because you might just dress this character so you won't need all this extra muscle. But, yeah, this, I'm going to have to work on this leg here and it's going to probably do a lot of erasing. Everything else looks pretty good. Because I brought his head here, I can only, probably only turn his head that much. Because, yeah, just to see part of the, the, the face. And I'm not going to have a face, but I'm just showing you. You can only turn it, the necks, the head so much. The tur what are you saying? I'm saying, depending on the angle of the attack, the angle of your picture you can only turn your head so much because you have a chin that's going to just going to hit to your shoulder so yeah that's about as much as you can actually turn this face so i'm not going to do a face but let me work on the rest of this in a speed drawing because it's already 20 some minutes into the drawing all right cut to the speed chase And there you have it. Now, I sat here for a few minutes and toured around with uh, doing some background. I thought it might take it away, take something away from the drawing, but then I started throwing my pencil around on it. And I kind of liked what I came up with because he had that presence of looking down on somebody. So I did the valley. He's looking down at the valley and all the people could be saying, oh, he's back. The hero's back again. Or he could be looking down at the valley and say, oh, the mutants have gathered. It's time to go down and kick some serious mutant bootay. So, you know, so two-edged blades or whichever way you want to go with it. So, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You learned something. I taught you a little something about the back. You can take it home with you and use it, show it off. Anyway, that's it for this video. Subscribe. Tell a friend, as I always say, because I want to get my channel to continue to grow. I've been growing slowly, but growing nonetheless. So hit that uh, notification bell so that you will always be abreast of all the new videos that are coming out. So other than that, I will see you guys later. Peace out.